Good morning, and it's barely morning because it's 11.59 a.m. Um, I've had a pretty busy morning. Uh, Polly is has a, um, he does not have a full day at work today, so he left a little later this morning. Um, we were going to have breakfast together, but then I remembered I'm just drinking my breakfast. But I actually did have a granola bar, which was quite tasty, one of those crunchy ones. But that was hours ago. Excuse me, I'm drinking my seltzer. So I'm just having this um, rice cracker snacks. And always be careful and check the packaging because it's a six ounce bag. And when you look at the portion size, there's five and a half portions and they're 110 calories each. So ideally what I should do, instead of eating directly from this bag, which I had a small handful, probably about 10 pieces, maybe 12 pieces, is to divide it into the portions immediately and in, in small snack size bags, which is really the ideal. Because otherwise, who, when you're hungry and you're reaching to grab a snack, who is going to have the wherewithal or the <laughs> pause and measure and weigh so it's probably ideal and I'll try to do this I'll probably divide this into four now if I eat an entire portion I don't think I eat an entire portion and a half so yeah I see this is what happens I was distracted and then this morning we were having problems getting into the garage the it's it was really really cold this morning once again, back to freezing temperatures. So it was 14 and the garage door would not open and I don't have an override to open it, excuse me, manually. So I just got into the garage about 15, 20 minutes ago. No, less than that because my hands are still cold. And um, there was one egg and I'm quite sure there was another brown egg that got devoured entirely and the only reason I think there was another egg is that the egg that was intact had yolk all over it and shavings stuck to it so I washed it put it away gave them food treats from last night's dinner leftovers or um, uh, prep which was the cauliflower um, leaves and there was something else some apple cores I think apple and pear cores so they got those treats, I gave them some food and some mealworms, closed the garage back, back up, um, hopefully it'll be okay for the rest of the day. We need to really resolve this issue. I understand that it's spring's coming and it's going to only get warmer. I just, I had this moment of panic, how am I going to open the garage door because the way the coop is such, situated in the garage, the side door that I usually open the garage door with only opens maybe 12 inches so I suppose I could squeeze myself in but then what am I gonna do because the coop is right there so I like I would have to I don't know if I had wings I'd have to fly over it so yeah it's just spring we are eagerly awaiting your arrival so and there's definitely a lot less snow on the ground stuff has been melting because it was warm the last few days off and on at least portion of the day. It's much cooler today because supposedly we're supposed to get a storm. Maybe I'll miss this, maybe I won't. We might get snow, we might not. My poor sister's in DC on a business trip um, at a conference and it is snowing two inches an hour. I just, she can't catch a break. Although she was, the last business trip she was on, she was in Arizona, so she did a, escape a little bit. So hopefully things will go much smoother the next time I go out to see the girls. Um, I brought a couple of things into my office, like you know, the stickers, maybe play around, make some cards later after work, and the little um, writing tablet, mini tablet, uh, paper stacks that I picked up, and the nail buffer. I'm not sure if I'm going to do my nails or not because I still have this weird crack in this thumbnail, and every time it gets down to the crack, you see that? It's like the, the nail has memory, the crack goes all the way. It's not all the way through the nail bed, but when it grows out, it cracks. So I might paint my nails today, I might not, I'm not really sure yet. So um, I'll grab that green juice, some of that for lunch, and that bottle 
has four portions in it so that's another thing that I need to keep be mindful of not just to guzzle it down so I'm gonna drink some water first um, you know leave a little less room in my stomach and that way when I drink the juice I'll they'll like top it off so I won't feel um, hungry and unsatisfied so yeah that's what's going on so far uh, I thought I had something else to say, but I guess not. So, see you in a bit. Just did a quick video review of this nail buffer from Dollar Tree. It does work. Nail shiny, pardon the crack and shortness, but just a few gouges. So, did the review. I'll post that in the link below. And the Icy Breeze Spearmint Breath Spray. Pretty tasty so far. Not really sure what the ingredients are. I oh wait, did it? I did save the container. Yeah. Yellow and blue. Hmm. Don't spray in the eye. Flush with water. Squeeze one to two drops into the tip of the tongue. How do you squeeze spray? I think they meant spray. Concentrated flora formula. Where is this made? Distributed, distributed by. But where is it made? Doesn't say. I'm gonna guess that this is translated. Yeah, no idea. But not bad. Sugar-free, fat-free, no calories. Gives you fresh breath. Win-win. I'm trying out the nose strips from Dollar Tree. I'll let you know how they work. I look funny, but it's okay. If it pulls out the blackheads, I'll enjoy that. And it's three for a buck. Not too shabby. I'll let you know. 10 to 15 minutes. So I just took off the strip, and there's only a tiny little bit, so I guess my nose is cleaner than I thought. So, um, not bad for 33 cents each strip. Works in 10 minutes. Unclogs pores, removes blackheads. So there's two more in this package. So I could do you know, once a week. Worth a dollar, I would say. Thumbs up for the dollar. Dollar well spent. <laughs>